Today we're going to be showing you the way of packing a hookah bowl. Follow my steps, that might going to help you in the future to pack a good hookah for yourself at home or for somebody. I'm going to be packing ice mulberry of Sherbetli, that's the first one. Then I'm adding ice passion fruit of Sherbetli. Then I'm adding moros of uh, element. Just a little bit moros flavor of element gives you a uh, ice taste. You don't need any more uh, the ice holes, you can simply just add moros of element then i'm adding mango of uh, element a little bit next one of my favorites is uh, pure of element love this taste all right and the final step i'm adding cherry cola of uh, must-have tobacco really good one i'm adding just a little bit check it out one of our previous video we spoke about must-have next i'm tossing uh, all tobacco on my napkin i already got some uh, people complaining in the comments why would you dry out tobacco with napkin i'm basically not trying to dry it out i'll be mixing it since some tobacco has some, a lot of juice and i'm using turkish style bowl i want to get rid of all this extra juice just a little bit it's fine you know i'm packing this bowl for myself and i'll be smoking this for another hour hour and a half after this video shoot all right next i'm gonna wash my hands flip the charcoals as I mentioned, this is kind of an important part since uh, what you want to do, uh, you don't want your charcoals to burn out from one side only entirely. You want to just kind of flip it. As soon as they turn red or whatever, you can start seeing ash, they're ready to go. Next, what I'm doing, I'm kind of trying to fluff it out. And then what I'm going to do, kind of trying to push the tobacco from the middle, kind of create a hole. The reason why I'm creating this hole in the middle, that way I would have the good airflow. You know, if you're not going to leave the hole in the middle, it'll be probably just hard to inhale. And I want to make sure the tobacco won't fall during my hookah session inside of this uh, hole in the middle. As you can see, I left the tobacco fluffy. I made a hole in the middle so I can have a good airflow. You still can do it uh, with uh, tobacco in the middle. It's up to you, but I would say this way you'll, you'll get better airflow. All right, next I'm going to put the heat management device, charcoals. We'll give it a time to heat up and it's good to go. What I personally usually do, I put heat management device with charcoals first on the hook bowl, just kind of lightly push and burn the top layer and then everything together I put on top of the hookah. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. I'm not gonna tell you, that's my secret. Then I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit, see what's happening. Not tobacco didn't get stick. I got foil on it and I'll give it a minute to sit on it since uh, this hook ball doesn't have uh, thick walls. It doesn't need a lot of time to heat up. By the way, we have a good quality personalized uh, mouse tips inside of our lounge. Stop by, get yours. This was easy and simple video on how to make smoothest perfect hookah so i hope it'll be helpful for you if you have any questions leave a comment down below make sure you subscribe to our channel also give us a follow on instagram come visit us give us thumbs up and see you in the next video peace